Marvel Comics is hitting it big in the movie theaters, especially this summer when the Infinity War movie is going to be coming out. To this date, there's been dozens of these movies. Captain America, Hulk, Thor, Hawkeye, you got Black Widow. I mean, who's not watching these movies? Everybody's watching these movies. And if you've seen one of these movies and you didn't like it, you're, you're just lying. Spider-Man is so cool. Really cool stuff. And who doesn't like Wolverine? How could you not like that? I mean, I'm not saying that I secretly wish that I had an adamantium skeleton like Wolverine, but I'm saying I secretly wish I had an adamantium skeleton like Wolverine. That would be pretty cool. Well, this morning on YouTube, I was going through my suggestions, and one of them was the Infinity War trailer for the new movie Infinity War coming out this summer. And I noticed that there's a trend in these Marvel comic movies. Basically, the premise of so many of them is that you got planet Earth here and all these innocent people on the planet, and there's an outside alien force coming to devour the planet and coming to take over the planet or invade the planet and the people that are on the planet have to stand against this big evil that's coming. And one thing that most people don't get is that in any movie coming out of Hollywood, there is an agenda. And that agenda is anti-God, anti-Bible, and anti-Christ. The premise of the Infinity War movie that's coming out is that you have planet Earth and you have this outside force named Thanos coming and he has he's all powerful with the Infinity Gauntlet and he's coming to Earth and the Hulk and Captain America and those from Wakanda, the Black Panther, are going to stand against this outside force that are coming in and repel this enemy invasion. Does that sound familiar to you, ladies and gentlemen? You see, the truth is, is that most Marvel movies is the book of Revelation told from Satan's perspective. Basically, the book of Revelation is this. You have planet Earth here, and there's there's all kinds of troubles and trials and earthquakes, and there's there's creatures released upon the Earth. Uh, the bottomless pit is open. The uh, water is turning to blood. Uh, comets are coming to hit the Earth and strike the Earth, and people are dying everywhere. A gigantic worldwide calamity is going to last a total of seven years. But at the end of all that, Jesus comes back to rule and reign on this Earth, and there will be an army of people that will stand and oppose the Lord Jesus Christ at the Valley of Megiddo, the Battle of Armageddon. Now, these people will think that they're doing the right thing, and they think that they're standing for justice and truth, and we're opposing this tyrant that's coming, when really they're opposing the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, this is how Luciferianism works. Luciferianism is not, you know sacrificing dead goats or something crazy and out there. Luciferianism is basically the concept of God was wrong in his dealings with Satan and Satan is just a poor victim. And so basically it's the Bible flipped on its head. It's the opposite. It's the antithesis of the Bible. Uh, you see, Marvel Comics say that this evil tyrant who has no right to do what he's doing coming and we're going to repel his invasion when the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords and he has every right to take back his creation. He's coming back and he's going to rule and reign for a thousand years on this planet. That is the book of Revelation. So I'm not saying you shouldn't watch these movies, but we have to realize at the same time as Christians that this is the world and anything coming out of Hollywood has an agenda. And the truth is, is that these movies are designed to program people to resist the Lord, resist truth, resist the Bible. I really hope I didn't ruin these movies for you. You know, we need to get back to our job. Our job is reaching people with the gospel so they don't have to go through the tribulation period and they can be pulled out in the pre-tribulation rapture and caught up with the Lord and be with Him forever. That's our job. Let's get to work.